Hello, and welcome to the Origins Podcast. I'm your host, Lawrence Krauss. I have been a fan of Ricky Gervais for a long time. He not only makes me laugh, he makes me think, which is why I was so delighted when he agreed to appear in our film, The Unbelievers, five years ago. He's famous, of course, for his work as a comedian, writer of hit series and movies, and he had the most popular podcast in the world. His most recent Netflix series, Afterlife, is one of the most brilliant television series I've ever seen. I've enjoyed communicating with him about issues of science, politics, and society for a long time, so I was really happy to have the chance to have an in-depth conversation with him for this podcast. The result was brilliant and hilarious, but he also provided deeply personal and illuminating reflections on modern life and about key influences on his career and on his comedy. And halfway through, he turned the tables on me and quizzed me on quantum physics and cosmology. Patreon subscribers can find the full video of this program and all our programs upon their release at patreon.com slash origins podcast. I hope my discussion with Ricky will cause you to laugh and think about the world in a slightly different way than you did before, which after all is the purpose of both art and science. I hope you enjoy the show. Ricky, it's just great to have you here. It's been a while since you'd filmed The Unbelievers, but it's just I'm just so happy to be able to have a chat with you. It's been a long time. We, I, we communicate by direct message on, on Twitter a lot, but it's nice to have a face. Yeah, this is more nerve-wracking. Yeah, absolutely. It's like being back at school or college or something. Well, good, good. I, I want fear, you to, I fear think of academics. Me as, yeah, I, admi- that's I admire you, but I <laughs> fear you. Yeah, good. Well, that's exact. Keep that. Hold, hold that thought. It's just nice, sure. though, because it, 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 it makes me feel stupid again. Because I get a, a false sense of security on Twitter. Oh, I feel really smart. Oh, and well, compared I, to most I, people, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so this will bring me down a peg or two. We'll see. We'll see. I'll try. We'll see. I mean, you may be surprised. The first question I want to ask you is, why aren't you a scientist? Um, because it seems to me, I mean, I'm serious about that. It's not facetious. I, it seems to me you have the sensibilities of a scientist. And you started in biology, right? Yeah, I, I do. Um, I, I've sort of got two answers. I'd like to think... Um, it was because I was lazy. That that seems like a weird yeah, brag. Yeah, yeah. No. But it might be that I'm, that I'm not good enough. Um, I could have done something in science, but I think a scientist, I think um, I feel that's an elevation of what I was. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, no. I mean, I, yeah, no. I remember I, I took a degree I can in think math- of 10 scientists. Yeah. And then a million people who work in science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd be one of those. Yeah, and so I didn't want to be. Yeah, and you got that sense when you were in college that you... Um, no, I I, th- I think I did it... Um, one, I was good at it. I, I you know, uh, um, all through school I liked... it was I was interested in it and I became good at it. I don't know if I had natural ability or because I just... I was, we're I, interested. I, I was in smart enough. Yeah, you yeah, know. yeah. Um, and I did... Uh, when I could, um, my A-levels were... Um, Physics, chemistry, and biology. Excellent. And uh, I got into University College London, my first choice. I got all the grades I needed, amazingly. Um, and I went to do biology. And then after two weeks, you know, there was 40 hours a week and there were nine o'clock lectures. And I suddenly thought, this isn't why I came to university. Uh. I came to university to join a band, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I, I felt that. I think because I got a full grant and I was a working class kid, yeah. I definitely ticked that um, 6%. Oh, okay. I was definitely a quota fill, I reckon. <laughs> they, they loved me. Oh, well, they said right. you could fail. We, we, need, <laughs> we need you. We need, some, yeah, we need some working class oiks <laughs> to make us look good. <laughs> um, and um, I think I probably did science uh, at, at college level uh, vocationally, I thought, yeah. well, if if I'm getting a free grant and I'm doing this exam, I, I better be doing it because I can get a job after. Yeah, yeah. And I, then I suddenly thought, nah, I'll do philosophy. Yeah, it was exactly. I was going to say, yeah. you went to philosophy where you're guaranteed not to get a job. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Um, which uh, um, after a few weeks, uh, I remember we were sitting around um, smoking and drinking and I, I was stressed. I think I'd made the wrong decision and I felt that I was, I hated it. I sort of, I thought, oh, why am I, why have I done this? I left school. Yeah. Uh-huh. I want to be free. Yeah. I want to be, um, and I said to uh, one of the guys, I said, uh, 
name a letter of the alphabet. And he went P and I went, philosophy, philosophy. And I got up and I went along to the philosophy department and I said, I want to do philosophy. And they said, uh, sorry, who are you? I said, um, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm doing sciences at the moment, yeah. uh, but I'm bored with that and I want to do philosophy. And they went, right. And they said, oh, I'll see if the professor's free. And I had an interview with this guy and he said, well, you've missed half the course. And I said, I'm really clever. <laughs> right? Good. Okay. And uh, he went, okay. Um, he said, what is art? And I can't remember my answer. Genuinely can't remember. I bullshit. It was yeah. probably terrible. And he went, okay. Yeah, come along. Well, that it, was wasn't, it. it wasn't that terrible. That's that was good. it, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I won't ask what is art. We'll, we'll uh, stay yeah. away from that one. I still don't know. <laughs> um, you like it. You, you know what if you like it, I guess that's art. Well, yeah, I've heard lots of definitions of art. Um, but philosophy is also not a light subject. Huh? Well, and I, and I, I, and I did enjoy it. Um, I like to argue anyway, so yeah. I just thought that would be more tall. Well, it gave me time to do what I was there for, which was join a band, which I did. Yes. I got signed, and I thought, I'll do the... I'll do the um, degree from my mum. Yeah. And I did it, and I, and I, I got did, my philosophy degree. Okay, um, so your, your mum wanted you to, did, she didn't want to be, my mother wanted me to be a doctor, but I don't know. Of course. So yeah. I think my mum liked me doing science. And I, in fact, when I changed, I went home for Christmas, mm -hmm. and uh, bless her, she'd bought me a big biology book Aww. from a jumble sale. Right? And I went, oh, thanks. I said, uh, oh, I've swapped to uh, um, philosophy. And she went, what's that? And I said, I said, it doesn't matter. I said, I'm going to be a pop star anyway. Mm -hmm. And she went, <laughs> Pop star is another word for junkie. Ooh, very good. Oh. Terrified. She was terrified. <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay. Well, so, so, uh, um, yeah. Uh, so I did my degree. Um, I got a, a deal, a record deal, um, which was over as quickly as So that was, that, let's forget that. Um, but yes, um, I, I, now I'm back. I, I'm, uh, what I've always been fascinated. It was my first love science. I absolutely love science, and um, it was actually really good for philosophy because I I swan through logic. Y yeah, exactly. I went yeah. straight through yeah, logic, yeah, critical yeah, thinking, yeah, all that sure. sort of stuff. Um, and then uh, you know you, you can play with uh, the, the mind body problem and yeah, sure. and, and metaphysics and stuff. Well, and you know, and, and it's actually it's interesting because we're actually sitting in a philosopher's office, by the way. I don't know right. if you're if you're by osmosis feeling it, feeling no, the vibes, no. but. <laughs> but but I was talking to him the other day, and, and I, the point is that there's, I mean, science was natural philosophy, but the idea of critical thinking, skepticism, analysis, that, I mean, that, when I think of what science is, that's large part of science. The, what science also has is experimenting, which philosophy doesn't. Well, but. of course, it, it certainly uses the same, um, I think, thought same, patterns. It's, yeah. You know, and, uh, uh, but then there's a, a certain part of me that thinks philosophy can't do what, Science does yes. and is actually give me the answer. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, yeah. I, can, I can observe it, and I know what I want to. And I'm impatient. Like yeah, that. no, I'm I, impatient. I can relate. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get good at chess again. Something I think I should be good at, but I'm not. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. I mean, how can a how can a nine year old beat me? <laughs> like, like, um, and I'm reading books and chess. I'm just going, and, and, and this and that and the theory that the knight could be more useful in the end game. That, oh, but except with the bishops. And I go, just give me the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me the answer. <laughs> you know, Immediate with, gratification. With more right. moves than there are particles in the universe, yeah. it's difficult to someone to give you the answer. <laughs> okay, your, your computer can beat you anyway, so it doesn't really matter. What I know. You, yeah. That annoys me. Yeah. It annoys me. Well, it could beat the best chess paper in the world. Well, of so course, you... <laughs> but I'm on level three. Yeah, oh, okay. And, it, and it's, still, it's still somewhat smug about it yeah. when it takes my queen faster than its other moves. Moves. Oh, so it's sort of going. <laughs> I go, okay. I go, I go, Jane, it's cheating again. <laughs> um, well, no, but it's yeah. So I love science, and it and it's uh, it's fascinating, and uh, I, I'm in awe of it, and uh, it's it's going to save the world, obviously. Well, it, it does. I mean, and I, you know, I've had arguments, by the way, with philosophers because I basically said, uh, you know, take quantum mechanics, which is impossible to oh, understand, right? No oh, one, good. Yeah, oh, no, good. but physicists can not understand it. But they, oh, that's but, good. but we do it. We use it. It doesn't matter. And so I tell philosophers, you can just talk about it for a hundred years, and we'll just do things. We'll build things, and yeah, we'll make them work. I know and, and it, that's works. The it, it works. It works. It, it works. And that's if it the, works, it works. Yeah, that's and really, exactly ultimately, right. that's why science is so good because it works. It's not that it's yeah. some special thing, or it's no. not. It's more important than music or literature or art. Of course, it, it, but it works. It's putting it out there and seeing which works. Yeah, and, Just and like that evolution through natural selection. Yeah, yeah. It's around. It works. Yeah, you exactly. Don't, it, it doesn't matter. It's not as if we. we no. I, you know, I tell people there's in, in the states. We'll talk about this, but you know, they're fighting this evolution, uh, intelligent design nonsense in the states, which I've been doing 
for years. And it's like they think that scientists, we have some secret handshake. Like, let's not pretend you know oh, evolution doesn't th- work. There's so many things annoying about that, 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 that you know evolution deniers. Yeah. Um, deny something with less evidence. <laughs> yeah. That's that's would be my. But it's like yeah, there's conspiracy that science have got it for some reason. Like yeah. there's, yeah. I know. Um, and the, obviously the it's just a theory. The, yeah. Uh, well, why I, did the, why did they? Use the word theory. Yeah, I know, I know. It's really. I you tell can't people, explain it. To well, I always tell people gravity is just a theory. Exactly. So just walk out the window and I see know, if it works. Exactly. Yeah. It, it doesn't work though because they're, yeah, they're, no, they they're, none, of, none of that stuff. If people don't want to believe or don't want to listen, but 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 of all the things, right? Evolution, financial, it's really easy. Yeah, it's well, an easy concept. It's a coin sorter. Y- it, yeah, you know, it they, they it should it, they're be. not rushing towards the hole they like. They're going down the hole they can, and you know, yeah, it's t- it's such you a simple it. concept. Now, quantum physics, ah, oh, it's <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah, no, it it is. I've had this. I was just having a discussion with Richard Dawkins, who says, you know, I mean, who's who keeps saying that quantum physics is just impossible. It's not even the fact that a lot of it is theoretical and balancing an equation then trying to find out what you know it's the even if you get that which i don't it's the scale yeah it's the scale that's impossible when someone uh, uh, okay the other the end uh, uh, astronomy um, yeah uh when someone tells me something is uh a, a billion trillion miles away yeah i go okay but i haven't understood it no, you yeah. can't no one it's can. impossible no one can i'm like a crow i can yeah. count five yeah and see that right yeah. maybe, maybe i can imagine a hundred yeah. maybe yeah. A th- but a billion trillion what's that it doesn't even mean if anything. they show me on a scale it doesn't because I, I, I always can't... think that people had to it's, politicians had to count the money they spend that it might you know, a billion might mean, mean more it, i know it's it's just you've just got to yeah. accept it and then the other way where you can just keep getting smaller and smaller. When I was about um, eight or nine, I used to lie awake at night trying to imagine infinity. Really? I wasn't a normal kid. Yeah, um, that's great. You're a scientist again. What? And uh, and I'd get there and I'd go, okay, what about that? You get there? And I'd build a wall around it and then go, what's over the wall? I'd go, oh, okay, let's uh, let's stop this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But if you got to infinity, you were, you were yeah. counting for a long time. Yeah, exactly. One I just I... keep going and going as far as I can see and go, okay, build a wall around that, but no, it doesn't work. It's, yeah. it's like my uh, Woody Allen says eternity is a long time, especially near the end. <laughs> <It's>, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, that last bit takes a long time. I know, I know. It's just, well, again, you can't. But the scale, but it's interesting you say that because one of the reasons, um, I've talked to Richard about this. I think we actually talked to the unbelievers about it, that that uh, one of the reasons people, the concept of evolution is easy. I agree with you. Yeah. It's just, it's just you know, a coin toss. But the, what people don't buy is the scale. The fact that, yeah, w- that you know, it, they can't, they can do a hundred years, maybe a thousand years, but the idea of a billion years and the fact that things change so imperceptibly, that's the thing yeah. people don't buy. It's, it's just, like looking they, at one frame of yeah. a film and going, well, he's not even running. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, he is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just looked at <laughs> yeah. 24th of a second, but he is running. And that's why it's, yeah, but I think that's why it's not intuitive. And it's, well, and well I, think, I, I think the, uh, even people that find it hard to understand, uh, was, it, was it Richard's model that if you look at a picture of your granddaddy, looks a bit yeah, like yeah, you did it, and then yeah. eventually he's a fish. Yeah, now yeah. You can, and, and no point, there's no point where where, no. where the child of a of a, of a fish is not a fish. It's no. just so, and that's the, you know, everyone thinks suddenly that, you know, you're going to have a child and it's a different species, and it just doesn't work that way. It's no, just, exactly. It's all gradual. Um, but, the, but then there's levels of stupid, because <laughs> I get <laughs> tweets. Um, I've been watching the chimps in a zoo for four years now. Yeah. And not one of them. Has... Really? Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I remember testifying in Texas, and some woman said, "I'm my, you know, my ancestor, you know, my ancestor isn't a monkey." And I felt like saying, "Well, if anyone's ancestor is a monkey, I think." You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And also that that uh, to try and explain that we're not more evolved yeah. than, than anything. We're yeah, yeah, it's yeah. That. and and that we're not, and the notion that. That evolution has a direction; that it's always yeah. better. That, that we're more, yeah. uh, that we're better than cockroaches. Well, you know, if there's a nuclear yeah. war, the cockroaches will still be around, and we're and yeah. we won't be. And they, they obviously they mean more intelligent. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. And and we yeah we and and intelligence and that's is just an a useful tool to survive to pass on your genetic. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, it is. It and, but it may in the long run, it may be, be a, a, as an evolutionary imperative. It may be pretty bad in the end. We'll see well, what I, evolution. I sometimes fear this is a disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter, yeah, that's right. Um, but the other one is, uh, I, 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 again, I used to be quite militant and, and I used to ridicule people when they said, um, if we evolve 
from uh, chimps, then why are they still chimps? Yeah, uh, yeah. Now I answer it like it's an, uh, an intelligent question. Yeah. I say we didn't evolve from modern really? apes. We evolved with them rather like cousins. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it doesn't do any good. But it makes me feel better because I wasn't being nasty, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know? Okay. Yeah, no, no. Because some think... people do it genuinely and they think... They don't get it. Yeah. They don't get it. And that, and that's fine. You know? Well, it's. It, I think it takes all types. I've talked to it, but that's too. I mean, sometimes you have to sort of jar people in order to get them to think about things. But I think you're absolutely right. Some, talking to people with respect, at least, is... Yeah. Because, you know, it's not It's not so much stupidity often. It's just ignorance. And that's a big difference. It's people just have well, never been... Well, that's different. Expo- yeah. yeah, because we could say that intelligence and education is a bit of luck that we, yeah. that we got yeah. there. And, uh, uh, so, um, uh, but yeah, people... Some people don't want to know the yeah. truth because it doesn't fit with their... Well, that's one of the my big problems with much of organized religion, or some of... Or, I have a lot of different problems with it, but one is this notion that you don't want your kids to know how the world really works for fear that they'll lose their faith. Don't, don't, yeah. We don't want to teach them. We don't want them to learn anything because they might change their but faith. But then there's that's another, a, there's another level of why, why as well, because yeah. they think that losing their faith is is uh, equated with badness. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and, and you know, and some people genuinely believe that uh, you won't go to heaven if you don't believe. So they're actually, they think they're doing a good thing. Yeah, I'm saving yeah. my child yeah, yeah. from hell. Yeah. Well, you know? I mean, all, I mean, I, don't, I, it's, I think when people do, most of the times when people do bad things, they're actually thinking they're doing a good thing. They, they have a rational rationalization for it. I mean, of the course. extreme is the parents who don't let their kids get blood transfusions for religion. I mean, they're not trying to kill their kids. They're, no. They think they're doing the right thing. And yeah. that's the problem, you know. I mean, that's uh, one of my favorite forms of evolution, people who refuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural selection. <laughs> The Darwin Awards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As long as they're not for their to, kids, obviously. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. shame that it's yeah. that is child abuse. Well, we want them not, to. Uh, well, yeah, we want them to refuse before they have kids. Well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We want them to refuse for themselves yeah. as an adult. Yeah, yeah. 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 we want to make exactly. sure they don't uh, they don't reproduce. But yeah. uh, but you know that's part of the problem. I, I've i talked to um, someone else. We've talked to Noam Chomsky, and he used to say that uh, with me that that. He didn't care what people believe; it's what they do that matters. But of the course. problem, but the problem is what you believe affects what you do. So when you have these crazy beliefs, like I'm doing some, are you a favor by by not allowing you to have a trans, transfusion? I ultimately do silly things, and so that's the reason. Yeah. It seems to me that's the reason to be grounded in reality at some level because you don't do silly things. Of course, yeah, uh, but 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 he's right as well. If if people just believe silly things, it's not a problem. It's when they act on them. Yeah, yeah. but we and, all... And I, and I see... And I, I ne- I, I've never had a problem with spirituality or people believing in any god or, or whatever, um, or, or witches and warlocks. Yeah. But if they start infringing on my rights to play out their yeah. fantasies, then that's when uh, I've got a say in it. Yeah, but the... Pro- yeah, I know, I agree. But I guess my problem is that no one's an island. I mean, so inevitably, if you have these crazy beliefs, you have kids or you have neighbours and you... And you impact on others, and so at some level, that but of course. But we should sh- say that most religious people are normal; they just happen to believe in God, and we think mm. they're wrong. Um, uh, but um, you know, I've often said if if and and nice religious people, nice yeah. normal religious yeah. people, yeah. Yeah. Church know of the, England types. So. Well, yeah, yeah. they yeah. know the bits to ignore in yeah. the Bible, yeah. and the. They so pick they and choose. So they, so they don't does. need the Bible. Yeah, yeah. If you know the bad bits <laughs> yeah, yeah, from you, the good bits, yeah. you, you don't need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, and we we you know that's what we call we call um, extremists and fundamentalists that the people who believe the bad bits. Yeah. in their holy book as well. Yeah, they don't realize that if if you if you took well we, we used to if you took the Old Testament literally it's a horrible thing and you and you people complain about Islam and Muslim but if you took the Old Testament and stoning it I mean but people always take choose pick and choose what they want to. You know, there was a survey but that's done. When people choose their own religion. Yeah. If they don't like a bit in their religion, they modify it, and it's a new yeah. church. And exactly. This one, this one can drink and eat bacon. <laughs> yeah, that's, this, right. uh, that's my religion. Yeah. This is my religion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, you know, not so much nowadays, but, you know, there's there's modern sex uh, popping yeah. up all over. But the ancient ones were definitely made by the people in charge to to better themselves, just like politicians today stitch up what's right and wrong. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you, you create your morality. If you're in charge, you create morality that's right, right for, for you. you. Yeah, exactly. and, and yeah. make sure everyone else does it. Of course, it. yeah. But you know, it's uh, there was an interesting survey done in the UK, which was asking people on in the census. One of the good things about the census was for the first time, I think almost fifty percent of the people said they didn't have a religion or they weren't members of the, the Church of England, and they asked people why. Um, 
why do you say you're you're Christian? Do you believe in transubstantiation or the Virgin? And people would say, no, 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 no. And they'd say, well, why? And they'd say, I like to think of myself as a good person. Yeah. So for most people, yeah. being religious just means you yeah. know, they've they've respectability co-opted morality. and um yeah, it's a shortcut, and it and that's why they pass it on to their kids because they think they're you know um I, I, I've said before you know my mum was she was she was mildly religious again C of E religious yeah, yeah, yeah. go go to church and uh, um you're a good person you're a respectable person and usually you know for a working class mum um Jesus is an unpaid babysitter yeah yeah if I can't watch you he can and and you take that for a while and it's a it, it it's fine and I don't, I don't think it's particularly harmful um uh, outside academia um yeah, yeah. but um. <laughs> Yeah, then then you realise that it's just not true. Even if you look at the stats of religious people in prisons to atheists, yeah, you know, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't add up. You know, yeah. and, and morality predates all religion. You know, we we got on before we had to make the rules. Yeah, was, yeah. I think if there's one thing I would love to be able to get across to people is that you don't. I mean, morality is in principle ultimately is is something we develop and we. We tune our religion to to fit the morality we have. I mean, it, it, the notion, I mean, we don't need to believe in God to be good. Obviously. No, that, that, yeah. And and uh, am, am I actually a friend? I of my think Stephen? even religious people believe that. Yeah, yeah. I think they know that. But you know, so there's a friend of mine, a physicist, Steve Weinberg, who won Nobel Prize, but he's he's an atheist, and he he said, I'll paraphrase him, but he put it. He said, um, so there are good people and bad people. Good people do good things. Bad people do bad things. When good people do bad things, it's religion. It's interesting because yeah. you can motivate yourself because of a belief that somehow there's a divine right to do something. Well, of course, you, you know you're burning people or, or or you know whatever it is. Yeah, that's not always the case, but it certainly can motivate you to do bad things and justify it because of how you're told. Because it, you know that that's that's the purest form of brainwashing. Yeah, yeah. When you're a kid, your brain's a sponge, and your parents tell you, "Don't go near the fire, don't go near the spider, don't go near the thing. Uh, if you do that, you'll go to hell." What? And if it's and it's and it's it's laid down. <laughs> Uh, you know, and and they it's know equated it. to to all those other things that are true and observable, and and you know you shouldn't go near a lion and a, yeah, yeah. all that sort of stuff. And and if you're never, you know, when you're eight years old and you say, "Is there really a Santa?" Yeah, yeah. parents go, "No, don't tell your little sister." <laughs> but they don't do that with God sometimes. Yeah, it's really because it's, they think it's it's it'd be bad for you to yeah, be an atheist in society, and it. And in some places it is. Yeah, yeah it's, you know, it's, 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 it's death, a rule it's of survival. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're. I mean, in spite of the problems, we're just lucky we, we can that we can even have this conversation. Of course, For most of human history, we couldn't have even had this conversation yeah. and, and walked out of the room alive. It's my only thing I can hold on to that I'm oppressed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's it, it's there's there's 13 countries I can't even visit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, only, only 13 I'm, I'm i'm oppressed <laughs> yeah there you go yeah, well exactly. it's well the, the uh okay well <laughs> it's nice we all got to feel like victims in luckily the i don't want to go there anyway yeah that's probably they're the 13 countries i don't want to go to so it's worked out really well do they, ha- they have netflix in those countries or no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh dear yeah Good. well you know but it's but it's interesting and 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 i've said this and you know that in some sense, teaching religion to kids is child abuse because, and and I just learned a quote um, the other day from the was the it was from the the Archbishop of Canterbury who said, educating children is like engraving in stone, and that it's really hard to outgrow because yeah. the kids aren't. I mean, it, that question is a deep question ultimately, yeah. and a kid, you know, it's not even that it works. Yeah, it's that. You were given to it as uh, as truth when you know when you before you could course. think about things and it yeah. was, you, you know, learn it here ra- you know course. rather than there yeah. there and it's yeah you know and and uh, and I I remember it was actually Richard who alerted me to this I'd never thought of that there's a picture in the paper he showed of at Christmas time of four little kids and um and it's really sweet there's it says a Muslim kid and a Jewish kid and a and a Catholic kid and a Protestant kid and they're all playing together and you say hold on a second a three year old it's like that's not a Catholic kid. That's a three-year-old. It's, yeah, it's like saying it's a neoliberal kid, a yeah, deconstructionist kid, and we yeah. label them, and they and that becomes their well, reality. Faith schools and yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, yeah. Exactly, so you were uh, you as far as I was reading, you were eight. You went to church. You were eight, and then do you make a yeah. decision not to go at that point? Uh, no, I still went. I, I was. I was. I went. Um, 
because uh, I got paid for being in the choir until oh. I was about 14. I oh. just kept it quiet that I was an atheist. Oh, okay. um, I'll take the money. <laughs> sure, absolutely. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> but atheists got to got wear Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Atheists have to eat like everybody else. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, no, uh, and I remember the moment as well. Um, I, I, I believed in God just because I thought everyone did and that was it. Yeah, yeah you sure. Know? Uh, yeah, um, me and, too. Uh, and everyone around me yeah. said things like God. It was on the telly everywhere. It was God. Yeah, of course it was yeah. a God. It made it all. Brilliant, yeah. right? Um, I was still a I, – I, I knew about – evolution and all those things and, yeah you know i just thought he just started it he did yeah, it Fine. yeah sure there was no real dis there was yeah, no, no cognitive dissonance no ex yeah. exactly yeah um so uh uh and i think i liked jesus more because he was a bit of a superhero i liked him because he was kind I mean, uh, and he yeah sure he you know he yeah. he could walk on water and he, he did things yeah he helped he, he helped people, people. Yeah. i thought it was, it's, it's cool yeah cool to, in fact i liked him more I liked his human half more than his God half. <laughs> I don't know the rules, so I don't want to offend anyone. Yeah, it's like, a, oh, you don't? No, no. Oh. Um, but uh, I was doing Bible studies, and my brother who was uh, 11 years older than me, so I was about eight, and um, he was about 19, and he came in, and he looked, and he said, why do you believe in God then? And my mum went, Bob. <laughs> and I knew she was hiding something. Oh. And uh, I thought, oh, what's that? And I thought, yeah. And then I started thinking about, all the things I'd been taught versus all the things in science I'd been taught. And I thought, oh, it's, yes, of course. It's just like Santa. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, so you had the moment. For me, it was just kind of a, you know, I like to believe and I and I want, and then I just started, the story started seem, to be seem a little wilder and wilder. And it was like Santa eventually yeah. just seemed like it was unlikely to be true. It wasn't exactly. a cathartic moment. It wasn't an epiphany for me. It was just sort of a... No. But you had an older brother that, that, that had that influence. Yeah, so uh, he... You know, he, did your mom was your mom when did you come out <laughs> to your mother uh, uh, I think it was just easier then I don't think I did I didn't particularly talk about it because it just wasn't talked yeah, about yeah, it wasn't sure a big deal yeah. you, you went to my church because it was the centre yeah, of the community my, my, I was and, a, a cultural Jew and my mom the same you know it's, it's, it's yeah, same yeah thing. exactly yeah. it's not it's you know um, it, it, everyone's a bit lapsed it's, uh, everyone I knew had to find a church to get married in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because exactly. they hadn't. I'd been like and to they say to... that my tr my yeah. search for religion ended when I found someone who would marry us. Yeah, and my wife is Catholic. It I was wasn't doing... religion. Yeah. It was a club. Yeah, yeah. It was like a club that you had to get through to get married and out of a christening, and yeah. it was a social occasion. It wasn't. No one really thought. I mean, some people did, but uh, you know. And I, I think that more and more, if you ask people what they really believe in, you know, um, uh, people have found this thinking that um, agnosticism is a polite term. Yeah. And I try and explain they're not mutually exclusive. One deals with knowledge, one deals with belief. Yeah, you know? yeah. So in fact, I, I just uh, edited an old book about atheism and, and um, this guy said, you know, Agnostic atheism is unscientific, which is, but, but, and, uh, but agnosticism isn't. But the point is what hadn't, I hadn't appreciated until I read this particular book and, and I wrote a foreword for it that agnosticism is atheism because agnosticism is just saying the evidence doesn't convince me. I don't, it's I not don't know. To, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, it's not sufficient Therefore, to make me, make me believe. I don't believe. Yeah, yet, and, right? and then and that's and, a form of atheism. And, and faith people saying, I don't know, but I, I believe, believe anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And I think, I think the mistake comes when people say that atheism is unscientific is because they think atheism means... I know no. there's no God. Yeah, exactly. As opposed to, I don't believe in any of your gods so far. Yeah. But convince me. I get tweets, um, if they proved God existed, would you believe then? I go, well, of course I would. Yeah, yeah. And it would be the greatest scientific discovery ever. Ever, exactly. Everything else, forget everything yeah. else. Don't, yeah. don't give the um, prize anymore. Don't yeah. give the, yeah. the, 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 that's the one. That's yeah. it, it's done. Yeah, it's done. Right. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. I yeah say, exactly, yeah. I would yeah. say, people say, what would it take? I said, tonight the stars realigned. Yeah, and said I'm here. It didn't have to be in English. It could be in Aramaic, you yeah. know, whatever. Ironically, then, atheists would all believe. Yeah, right. Yeah, but all the other religions wouldn't because it'd be the wrong god. Yeah, exactly, wrong god. Exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's just, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like NASA. We never landed on the moon. It's really yeah. fake. They, yeah, they did that just to do that. You know, it, it's it, so your mom is it has always been fine. Then with, I mean, she's. I guess she had to tolerate you because you. She, uh, she listen. She just hoped that we didn't get killed in a yeah. barroom fight and did okay yeah and okay. it was all about the kids you know yeah. just you know be just be nice and don't don't die that well, was that was it be whatever. nice and don't die that's a great thing that was it and so i those, so they use anything well it's it worked they, they on you. use anything yeah yeah yeah, yeah um no. and i don't know if it's the same here but there was a, a study done of about two thousand adults of of 
and atheists were the just the word were l- less trusted than anyone except for rapists. I yeah, mean, they it were was, I think rapists. it was joint bottom with rapists yeah, in America, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a, and it was just yeah. sort of sad. It's that notion of that. I the, also, it makes me laugh that they think atheism is extremism because you don't yeah. believe in any god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas yeah. believe in one. Yeah, exactly. Choose one. Yeah, don't, yeah, be, fact, don't be an extremist. Yeah, I mean, you, you know <laughs> yeah. what you. By the way, what you said in the unbelievers, the things you said, I thought were the were the, the best things we got. But it was exactly that. I just, as you said, I just. It's just one extra God I don't believe in, yeah, as you point out. Exactly, was, yeah. And, and this whole idea that we're called mil, or mills into atheists. I don't know what that means. You throw pamphlets at people or something or books or something, but well, what, is it, what is it mills into atheists? I don't well, understand. They, they, they don't realize the irony in, yeah. in that statement yeah. with what, what we've seen militant religious people. Yeah, the, other one, the other one is uh, what annoys me now is uh, new atheists. Yeah. Because they're trying to equate that with bigotry. Yeah, yeah, right? sure. I mean, any the thing is, right, new atheist, extreme atheist, uh, yeah. what it means is atheists who refuse to be burnt at the stake anymore. Yeah, yeah. That's what it means. Yeah. We're not ashamed yeah, of it anymore. Yeah, exactly. But atheists right? have been around a long time. People <laughs> yeah. haven't, been, haven't been buying this stuff for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's... Uh, well, we're born atheists. Yeah, yeah, we, exactly. We are. We're born atheists. And we're, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah. right. And, and uh, unlike... Um, uh, what what my old friend Christopher Hitchens used to say about there are, what he found so awful about at the, that time about religion was it said you're born ill but you're commanded to be well and that yeah. notion whereas you actually didn't do anything wrong until you do it it's you're not born having been it's also know. it's also a very worrying trait yeah to, for someone to believe that babies aren't innocent yeah yeah it's a bit worrying isn't it yeah it's yeah. a bit sick yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's it's really sick and unfortunately. Yeah. I think it's probably traumatic for many kids. Uh, 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 my ex-wife was a Catholic, and I remember the first time she went to church, and, and they told her that her soul was like a lung, you know, and it started out white, but you do all these, you know, sins, and, and by the time you're that, that, her, that age when she was going to go to confirmation, it was, you know, it was black, and you had to do these things to try and it was just traumatic. It's traumatic. Really scary. It's really scary. I'm happy yeah. about that part about having grown up Jewish. At least there wasn't that that stuff. I never, I never, I just got told that you know all these bad things happened and we were but the a, old testament is uh, isn't that uh the first form of judaism isn't that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, but, but it didn't but there wasn't uh no no of the, course so, no no one yeah the soul hell and those things i never really heard about that when i was growing up yeah so the new testament was trying to make it less jewish for y- yeah for everyone else exactly yeah yeah the, like all jesus, i got from the old testament is supposedly that well we're better than everyone else yeah yeah. yeah yeah well jesus in my church looked like brad pitt yeah, well, there you go. White, blue eyes, <laughs> yeah. blonde hair. Yeah, blonde yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. There were a lot of those yeah. people in, 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 in the Middle Israel. East. It wasn't Middle East. It wasn't Middle East. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, okay. I think enough. Well, ha, we'll talk about, I want to talk a little bit about how you think. Enough atheism. religion already. Enough religion already. We've given it too much airtime already. But but I want to ask, you know, your brother influenced you there. Your bro- I think you said your brother was the funniest person you'd ever Growing heard. up, he was the first person I saw saying things undermining societal norms being being funny and irreverent and impolite and i thought and it, you know and it worked you know yeah sure yeah. uh um and you know the first person you answer back to was your parents and he yeah. answered back you know he got sent to bed yeah but i remember thinking no he was right yeah and i thought oh yeah, they, they lost the argument <laughs> they lost the <laughs> yes, argument sorry. okay he said a few truths yeah, the, yeah, yeah, they yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they, they, could, they had no recourse but like to say, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So yeah. Go to bed. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I certainly. Uh, well, did he? Do you, th- you think that? Did obvi- I guess the answer is obvious, but that that had an I- impact on you? Did well, that, uh, you know, everything does. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, uh. My older brother was sort of quiet and and uh, and smart and 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 that had an influence on me. I, I you know I quite liked the idea of academia from there. My sister, I felt like I was an experiment because mm. um. And my sister taught me to read when I was three. Oh, wow. I remember the teachers showing other parents, that making me read like I was a performing <laughs> monkey yeah. in this school, right? Um, and uh, so they all had a, an influence on me. And I think that's because uh, being the youngest has an influence on me. I was going to say, straight away, the fact you're the years. youngest. Is, oh, um, are, more, are more comedians the youngest children? I don't know if I that's think so. A, you have to yeah. jump around to be heard. It's, yeah, it's probably yeah, a cliche, be, but there must yeah, be something yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. I was and, and your boundaries have already been pushed a little bit. Yeah. You know, yeah. you get an easier... Life, life's a bowl of cherries, but you just have to be 
heard. Yeah, um, and because, you sort of see the absurdity of life by watching your older brothers interact with your parents and stuff yeah. like that. And and that's and sometimes it go far too far the other way because there was a danger that I was almost like an only child. Yeah, because eleven years. Yeah, how old? Much older is your sister? Um, so it goes eleven, thirteen, fourteen. Oh wow! Um, I remember wow. asking my mum when I was about thirteen, "Why are my brothers and sisters so much older than me?" And she said, because you were a mistake. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I just laughed. Honesty. Honesty is good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to say, okay, if we're doing something, they're all a mistake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If they're all a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say that? I've seen the wedding pictures. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, um, so, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, the, you know, what an influence, yeah, but... Um, well, that's I, Bob was always the clown mucking around, pushing the boundaries, saying the things you shouldn't. To but he didn't. Effect. But he. But he. But did I don't know what what he eventually go up to. What did he do? Did he become an academic or did he? Uh, did he... No, my older brother became a teacher. Um, oh, that's uh, nice. Uh, yeah, he's retired now, and uh, my sister um, uh, also works in the teacher profession with um, uh, kids with. Uh, Learning difficulties and stuff, um, and um, oh, that's really takes a lot of patience. I yeah, I've, yeah, I have a hard time doing that. Um, do you, and my brother was a painter and decorator. I mean, he still still works. Still, still know, works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teacher, do you think that, in a sense, that by, by doing comedy, you're a teacher? Uh, I secretly, I like it to do more than just make you laugh yeah i mean that is the main aim you've got to yeah, do that yeah sure you can't forfeit that for yeah. other things yeah. but if i can do um i do like to make them think as well and i do like it to resonate and i do like them to you know think of it the next day i don't just be throw away yeah, and they yeah. had an hour and a half and then they go back yeah, and they it, forget it, everything i said and it was good and they just laughed because you can tickle yourself with a feather if yeah, that's, you yeah. know what i mean yeah you know, no you don't, absolutely um so i do try and sneak in something and i think that they feel that they've gone through more of a process. And that's why I deal in taboo subjects as well, because yeah. I think I want to take them to a place they haven't been before. Exactly. Because I think comedy is surprise. And um Yeah. Okay. And uh I do feel if I when I start on a contentious subject, mm -hmm. I feel the tension. Like, oh is this gonna be all right? Are we gonna be allowed to laugh? Yeah, yeah. And I take them through a scary forest <laughs> and out the other side. And it, it's always okay and they phew. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and I think I think that's the important thing because I've often said right, um uh that People get offended when they mistake the subject of a joke with the actual target. Yeah. And they're not necessarily the same thing. You can make jokes about any subject. It depends what the joke is. Yeah. There's no there's no rules. You can't joke about this. You can. You should you be. You just to. can. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's nothing sacred. Well, that's really. the point. There's nothing sacred. So yeah. everything should be everything should be subject to ridicule. Yeah. I mean, as to even just to force you to understand think about it more. I know. But people then they go, uh, wow, um, yeah, but you shouldn't hurt people's feelings. Well, you mm. can if their feelings are wrong. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Get, if, yeah, you, if you don't okay. like the facts, get yeah, don't yeah. change the facts, change the feelings. Yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. um, and also, they, they, they then they try and do this thing. Oh, you should um, you should never you should never punch down. You should uh, you should punch up. Well, who's to say what's up and down is? Yeah, yeah, it's a subjective. So you're 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 deciding who's down and who's up. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. You you, you well, don't get to do that. Yeah, no, and so there's this whole thing nowadays about about not offending people and, 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 and people feeling uncomfortable in the States is a big thing with uh, sort of target words and safe zones. People don't want to hear anything, a word that they don't like. How and arrogant are you to think that you deserve to go through life with no one ever saying anything that you don't agree with or like? It's not, it's, you know, but I think it's, pro it's at least it's in the States. I think it's a property of upbringing where parents sort of convince their kids. When, when I was growing up, I, we played in the streets, right? But yeah. now you, you don't go in the streets, it's dangerous. Yeah. Nothing should ever, you should never take any risks and nothing should ever, you shouldn't do anything that might might hurt you in any way or make you uncomfortable in any way. And it, uh, you know, education and science, the purpose of it is to well, make you Well, and a sense of humor. Yeah, it makes you bulletproof. You, yeah. Exactly. Don't ha you don't have to pave the jungle. Yeah. You can just grow a pair and have a laugh about it. Exactly. And then it's you'll your be choice. Right. You yeah. own the offense. And I think that's what, you know, my wife is always saying that. If, if you offend someone, they, in some sense, they own the offense. Uh, Stephen Fry said it, you know, I offend you. Well, you have no special rights because I offend you. Mm. You can, and you can decide what you're going to do. You can laugh about it. Yeah. Or you can you can speak to me about it and say, you know what, you heard me. Or you can go, yeah. or you can go home and fester about that for ten years, and then later on complain and and and. But it's and, trying to make I'm offended sound important. Yeah, it's no different to saying I've got a pain in my leg. Yeah, right. I believe you. Yeah, but there's no, there's nothing to do with me. 
Yeah, no, it's, 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 if I mean, there's a, you know, I, it, the question is: Are is one trying to intentionally offend? Sometimes no, it's never, but sometimes you know, maybe it's like being religious. Sometimes you're trying to do it to help someone. I mean, in the sense of getting well, them to think yeah, about I mean, things. He, he, uh, I mean, you're yeah, offending I, I say ideas, the but comes not first. And I, and I understand. Uh, well, that's the other thing. Yeah, people try and give ideas rights. Yeah, exactly. So so you're not allowed to offend their. You know, they jump in the way of the bullet and say, "Why are you shooting at me?" Yeah. Right? If someone yeah. insults maths, I don't. Uh, go, <laughs> yeah, insult it all you like. Yeah. It works. Yeah, exactly. Okay? If you're so fragile that that you think that a joke about someone can destroy it, well, you you you, you need something else. Then yeah. it, it's nonsense. And now people saying, you know, um, uh, people mistake sometimes demanding equality. Right by not being part of humour. Yeah, it's actually demanding um, privilege. Yeah, it, 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 it's it, right. it's nonsense. But I, I agree. It's it's someone says they're offended. I, I want people to stop saying that joke's offensive. Yeah, I want them to start saying I found it offensive because you've got to own the emotion because that's all it is. You're yeah. just telling me how you feel about it. Yeah, there's nothing and intrinsically offensive about this joke. It's a words. It's ideas. It's, I know. It's it, notions. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, I was actually listening to the and they, and they can be offensive at certain occasions. Not. I was listening to an old podcast years of and um, and. Uh, I guess it was Stephen said was talking. You were talking about words, and and you could say cock and tits. Yeah, and it just depends on the context, right? Of course. Yeah, I mean, you know, a bird and and the tits are little birds or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it also it also when when them uh, to be polite, they asterisk out the u yeah. in fuck. Yeah, right. Like it's it's the <laughs> like, vowel no, that's yeah, offensive. Yeah, yeah. It's, the, the, it's just that that u in any yeah. word. Yeah, once you see it, and now yeah, I see exactly, it's yeah. fine. It's yeah. great. Yeah. It's, yeah. Exactly. And, and actually, in that regard, I'm always amazed that when people take offense at these kind of things in art, there were, actually, there was a, someone just wrote my, my stepdaughter's school saying, we're going to show this film, and, um, and it's, got, you know, it's got serious notions, but it also had um, you know, some, some sexual language in it. But don't worry, we've taken out the sexual language. And I just think, you know, we, let, we, we, put, we restrict movies because they have sex in them, but we don't if, when people are being stabbed in the eye or their head is being I, cut I, off. I think it was training day. I was watching in America. I was in the gym once, believe it or not. Um, and the training <laughs> well, day was on. To me, <laughs> exactly, yeah. And it was like 2 p.m. in the, in the morning. And there's yeah. a scene there mm-hmm. where it, he's going, fuck you, no, fuck you. Fuck. Yeah. And they changed that to forget you, right? Yeah. And then he shot him in the heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'd rather I'd yeah, rather yeah. you swore at me. Yeah, yeah, if given yeah, the choice, yeah, given well, the I'd choice. find more offensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, it's yeah, that's really uh, uh, it. well. But you know, what's kind of nice is that one can use comedy. I think to talk about things which which would otherwise uh, uh, be of, of great course. concern, but it, it gives you an in in. It gives that's you a what, away. That's, that's what humor is for. It gets yeah. us over bad stuff. Yeah. If you can't joke about bad stuff. What, yeah. what kind of that, that's yeah, exactly that, what it's for yeah. you know it it, it 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 um it sharpens our our claws you know it makes us it it, it keeps us fighting it, but fit it also for the real us, world it also gives you license as a as a either an entertainer or as a public figure oh, of course yeah because, it helps you understand things yeah as well I, I think it was um a picasso that said um art is a lie that helps you understand the truth so all these things in a metaphor, poetry, yeah. jokes, satire, they are they are they are teaching you something, whether you know it or not. It's sneak it's sneaking in learning. Yeah. It's, See now you know, I've I didn't meet you to the philosophy program. There was the art the, you oh, gave yeah, me the yeah, art line. Sure. That was it. Yeah, yeah that was oh, it. Yeah, I've, I've got loads of them. <laughs> I've got no, loads but, of sayings of other really <laughs> clever people. Well it's you know, but that's often what you need to get at school. It's really interesting to mm. say that. But or at least appreciating what's what what are good ideas and bad. That's a, that in itself is an interesting and and t- Take some some learning, or at least some experience, to be able to separate the wheat from the chaff. Yeah, well, well exa- I mean, and, and and obviously the problem comes that we're all different, mm-hmm. and um, uh, art is subjective. Yeah, you know, yeah, comedy or yeah. whatever. What's funny? What funny um, is, is what if, people find funny. It depends upon their experience and the and the mood they're exactly. in the day, and so many other things that, that. I don't think you should be ashamed of finding anything funny. Yeah, because it's not your fault. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. what you are yeah if you see someone fall over the street and you laugh yeah. you can then feel but it was you've obviously it was, found it funny yeah, yeah, yeah you can't deny it yeah i i see it with audiences they laugh and then they go oh, oh my like, god i shouldn't oh, have should yeah. i have yeah. i don't know well if you laughed you should have well you know it's my, a great but, feeling yeah it's a great feeling and there must be and there's got to be an evolutionary purpose right i mean i uh, think so oh it has to be i, I mean so. we we at humor and anthropologists it, think the first joke was 
one um, caveman mm-hmm. seeing another caveman bump his head. Yeah, yeah. Because it's about empathy. Yeah, yeah. And I think I think comedy can be about empathy. Um, because uh, I think comedy uh, is often laughing at the wrong thing because you know what the right, right thing, thing is. is. Okay, that's interesting. And so you feel good. I get that. Yeah, yeah I get that. Yeah. And it is undermining societal norms yeah that's what's funny that's what's you funny. know that's what the surprise is that's what the misdirection is yeah. that's what we find funny some that shouldn't have happened or doesn't usually happen and that's why the funniest person you know isn't a professional comedian yeah it's your dad or your granddad or your uncle because yeah. someone has to walk in the pub and you see your uncle do a second and you're <laughs> laughing because you know what he's thinking <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and it's about empathy because you go i know yeah. why you're laughing yeah. you're laughing yeah. at his wig yeah. or something yeah. because you know him and yeah. that's a shared moment yeah yeah it's and a that's shared what's moment. lovely about yeah. it yeah. because it ever, it's, ever, it's about humanity yeah comedy is about humanity because yeah. it, if it's not about humanity it's not funny. Is that why you called this special humanity, by the way? Um, I, uh, no, maybe it was a, just a plug. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it is. Yeah. It has to be. We see yeah. everything through our eyes. Yeah. You know, yeah. we we um uh you know we personify. Things and it was that, actually for me, by the way, it was my uncle. I mean, it, well, my uncle. I, I just he just passed away, and I just spoke at his funeral a week ago. And but he was the first person I saw. It was funny, and I thought, wow. I mean, and and he suddenly, and it, it was so effective. I thought yeah. I want to grow up and be like that. I mean, I, it, of course, yeah. You want people that that that, that uh, they're, it, they're, they're warriors. They're not scared. They're brave. It breaks down they're... the barriers. It I opens know. doors. It and it, 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 and death is funny. Yeah, well, death is funny because it's going to happen to all of us. Yeah, you know, and and, and it's and just shared. Never, yeah, it's and, and we know that you're. I know you're scared about it as yeah, well. Yeah, That's yeah, what's funny. Yeah, yeah you're scared. You're yeah. as scared as me. Yeah, you know. And I think people think that um, that I don't fear death. Yeah. I go, no, I fear I fear death. Yeah. I don't fear being dead. Yeah. It's the beauty of being dead. You don't know about it. Yeah, you it's, don't. It, you know, it's like it, what, when people ask me, you know, well, what what happens you die? I say, well, what what was it like before you were born? Exactly. Yeah, it's like that. That's it's exactly, just exactly yeah. like that. Yeah. It's like being stupid. It's only painful for others. So speaking of death, <laughs> um, afterlife, which, you know, I, I already wrote you personally, I, just the most... Brilliant thing. I, oh, I mean, I've you. seen on TV. I haven't seen this week's Game of Thrones, so I shouldn't say. But but uh, no, it's just unbelievably great. Uh, it's just you. in every way. And and I will say this too publicly. I thought whoever wrote that has got to be a really nice guy. I mean, no, really, it just the, the it's just so much. It's it, the way it meshes comedy and seri- serious questions, but issues in a in an empathetic way. I just is. Brilliant! It's about humanity again. It's it's about humanity, but you yeah. use the de- you use death and yeah. and um and 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 there's some atheism in there and and so uh, it's sort of a play on the on the title because I think it was important that the character didn't think that his wife was up in heaven looking yeah. down. Yeah. Um, he didn't have that comfort. Yeah, yeah. So he knew this was it, and he'd lost everything. So the, is the question is is life still worth living when you've lost everything? Yes, and, and instead of it saying asks. it is, this was a. This was an it's exploration of the journey to find out it was. And it's complicated. It's complicated. It's yeah. not so we I mean, I like to say, hey, the fact that we're just here a moment in the sun, the fact that there's no purpose in my life, for me, that happens to enrich my life. It makes every yeah. moment more precious. But yeah. I can see for other people, they say, what a tragedy. And it's nice to take people through that. Yeah. Well, I think that as well. I think that, as you say, we didn't exist for 13 and a half billion years. Yeah. Then we have this 400 trillion to one shot with that yeah, sperm yeah. hitting that egg and us being us yeah. for 80, 90 years, if we're lucky, to experience everything just for the hell of it. Yeah, just for the just hell, hell of it. it. Yeah. Just because we can. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Because we won't get, and then we go back to not existing again <laughs> yeah. forever. And we enjoy that and, moment of existence. And I think people take offense because they think that I'm, they feel that as an affront. So they go, how dare you say that I'm not going to go to heaven? Yeah, yeah. I go, I'm not saying you're not going to go to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that there is no heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go there if you want. Yeah, yeah, it's but, right. it, but it's, it's just right. nowhere. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Believe it if you want. You know, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's Peace, really... death is heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Peace and quiet. Right. And, and, yeah. That's fucking heaven. <laughs> <laughs> All your relatives and all the people, yeah, the yeah, murderers, yeah. rapists yeah. who said sorry yeah. on their deathbed. Fuck that. Well, That's I've not heaven. Thinking, exactly. I always <laughs> thought about that. Why do people think living for an eternity would be heaven? I mean, anyone, your best friend, but much less your in-laws or any of I you. Know. It, it's for etern- Again, it's eternity is a hell of a long time. It's, it's not just, yeah. a, it's not 100 years. I know. And, and I'm I 57. Just it's, it's, it's dragging on a bit now. <laughs> 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 By the way, you know, I wonder whether you found it hard to play. In Afterlife, you play someone... Who speaks his mind without a filter? How on earth did you did you get? Well, <laughs> you say that you say that, but actually, 
I, I don't speak my mind. I, I, I know um, uh, I bite my tongue every thirty yeah. seconds yeah. because I'm not a psychopath and I worry about the consequences. Yeah, okay. So, um, you know, when I'm mugged, I hand over the money. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they might have a knife, or yeah, yeah, sure. you know, or yeah, sure. you might be with someone who get hurt, or they know where I live. But um, uh, you know, it, obviously, Tony, my character, he's got nothing to lose, so he goes, "Bring it on." Yeah, you know. So I think the comedy and the drama comes from us living vicariously through his freedom that we mm. haven't got because you know we 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 do worry about people's feelings and we do worry about um, uh, uh, being right and honest and uh, and I think as I go on. As a as a writer or a comedian, mm. all I care about now, again, the funny is still first. Yeah, sure. But next is, am I being as honest as I could be? That's interesting. Am I being as real? Am, am I really stripped? I've just got to be honest and brave. Am I being as honest and brave as I could be? Because that's that's all that matters you, now. It, it is. You you well, I guess you think because it's well. Uh, it's easier because you have such great success. It gives you more opportunity to be honest and brave. Than than would you have been more afraid of it when you were, were breaking into the to well, the field? Well, yeah, because, you could say the other way that you know you, you've uh, yeah, you have more you've to got lose. More because, to lose, and yeah, you're you a famous person. You can yeah. everything go. Everyone goes for you. Um, but so what I try and do is try and make what I say defendable, and you know mm. bulletproof. Now I've got to worry about what I say being defendable in in ten years' time with yeah, people yeah, going yeah. back and finding yeah, historic yeah, tweets yeah, and yeah, ruining yeah, people's yeah, career. Yeah. But I, I I don't care. You know, I, you know I love the fact you know that you one of the things I admire, and you're in a position where you can do that. Uh, it, when I you know when I'm associated with an institution like a university, I can't do that. And that you course. you respond to ridiculous tweets, and you you know, and you just say you say what needs to be said, and 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 without it seems to me without fear of later on being deprofiled, deplatformed for having said something. Do well, you, I just think that um, uh, I don't want to be beholden to anyone. Yeah, yeah. It's I, not, don't, I, don't, I, just, I don't work for anyone. I don't... Actually, tell you the truth, that's one... I, I was motivated. It was, it was actually you, in a way, that made me think about doing this podcast and, and working just for myself with through this. Because it gives you so much more freedom to be able to... to, to, to do the things you want to do, of course, because you're not beholden anymore. Uh, but because um, I, I, res I respect the law, yeah, and I respect honesty, and uh, you know, with all these, there's there's already a load of caveats to freedom yeah. of speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I agree with libel and slander laws. Yeah. I agree with those. I agree with protecting uh, children. I agree with the watershed. I agree with the things. I agree with food additives. I agree. You know, I agree with all the things. Yeah. What I don't agree with is you shouldn't say summer in case it hurts someone's feelings somewhere. Yeah. Well, fuck uh, that. Yeah, well, the, uh, the whole point in which we try and I try to lately in the United States is more and more under attack. Unfortunately, it's the right wing that are at least defending a little bit yeah. The notion, freedom of speech is designed to protect speech you don't like. You don't have to respect speech you like. It's, it's designed yeah. to respect the speech exactly. of someone that you, you say that's horrible. If you but don't you believe like in respecting the, the freedom of speech for people who say things you don't agree with, you don't agree with freedom of speech. And it's this nonsense that um, I did a tweet recently that I said, I'm a typical lefty, liberal, snowflake, champagne, yeah, yeah, socialist yeah. kind of guy, yeah. anti-racist, anti-sex. Uh, and yet when I defend freedom of speech, I'm suddenly all right. Yeah, yeah. When did that happen? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Well, and, and it's, uh, but it is crazy. And, and it worries me in the States that the people who, it, the, the, because of this safe zone issue, the fact that people don't want to be uncomfortable, they're, they're, they're in fact, there was a, a U.S. university, I heard this, my wife was telling me this, that, a speaker came in and he was speaking on due process and freedom of speech. And they created a safe zone so people didn't have to hear. And I say, and that, but that's hurting the, the left because the rights, it, 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 you know, Trump, it's like a monkey on a typewriter. Every one he does something right every now and then. Yeah. He actually issued an executive order, which is without teeth, but nevertheless saying that if universities didn't respect freedom of speech, they wouldn't get federal funding. But it's, but it's sad when it has to be trump that says that but it's it, uh, yeah it's crazy that it's colleges that is mm. the you know the seat of education and progress yeah. and you know that that's odd that it's there you have think you that know, they, you, they'd have their you think they'd have their backs against the wall with yeah. flaming torches saying keep away you with think what we, there'd be the last bastion it, it, of that and they're it, not it's odd and it's and it's actually art that's, yeah that's 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 you know have you uh, have, do you do college did you do college campuses or you know did you that on your uh, 
when stand up tours or anything like that? Did uh, you ever do that? I don't, but that's because we don't really have them like you do in yeah, America. Yeah. Um, I mean, interesting. No, I mean, you've never been in a situation oh, where a group I, I, has said, "Well, we, you can't come. We don't want you. You're just too." Uh, uh, no, I've, I don't think. I don't. I don't think anywhere's. That, I mean, I've, I've played a few colleges, but I think they're. I think because I they're private theatres yeah, that are yeah, in because yeah. I have. I haven't walked into a student union mm, yeah. and said, "I want to tell you some truths." Yeah, I don't do. Yeah, yeah. I think people think that of me. Like I run into churches and go, and it's all yeah, bollocks. Yeah, yeah, I don't do that. Don't I don't I, care what they yeah, do. Yeah. I don't care. Carry it's on. Something that on people yeah. pause on you but, that you respond. Yeah, but when you come to see one of my gigs, that's my church. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, this is like your your only choice is leaving. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. and I think that and and in art, you know, that is your only choice. You know. You know, um, the only form of censorship is your right not to listen. Yeah, it's and amazing. that's cool. Yeah, it's amazing when people come, come to hear you or come to read you, and they say that's offensive, and you say, "Yeah, well, why do you bother?" You know, yeah, you know. And it, actually, there was a situation that happened to me here in the UK. Probably the most terrifying thing I've done. I, I it was a very nice group here asked me to sp- do a debate on atheism versus Islam, and and they were very respectful of me. But one of the things was that. Um, uh, people told me they were going to um, segregate it between male and female. I said, you're not going to do that. And they said, no, we're not going to do that. And they, and then I went in and there was a separate door for men, a separate door for women, separate. And I said, and I just went in and I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do this. And I'm going to walk out. And they put a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, publicity. So I walked out and of course they had me come back in and. Um, Mixed them and, up a and, bit. And, and, well, I, and I said, you're going to mix them up. And some kids moved and, and there was a big, I mean, someone to, as always, there was someone on a camera, and the good news was that it, that that this got in the papers and actually uh, ended up this group. It was, this was at the University of College London, I think. It was at a public. It was a it was at a secular environment, and they eventually got told they couldn't do that anymore. But what ha- happened was at the end of it, there was a question period, and and there were a bunch of women in burkas, and one of them was very upset, saying, "Why did you force me to sit next to a man?" And I said, "Look, you, you didn't have That's to come here." You could have. This is going to be on the web. You could. You could have stayed home if you're. You had the choice. If you went to a a, a football game, as you call it here, I was going to say soccer, but a football game here, you know that you don't have that choice. So you you're you and and you could have moved. It's your yeah. choice. But but people, um, you know. So that that idea that somehow people go out of their way to listen to you or read you and then be and then be offended by you and want to and want to stop you from saying what you're going to say is a worrisome thing. Yeah, it, it, it is very odd. And uh but you know uh, again I've said this just because you're offended it doesn't mean you're right. Yeah. Some people are offended by equality. Some yeah. people are offended by uh, mixed marriage, you know. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's like it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Think- and uh and again if your your beliefs are cool, but yeah. if they infringe on uh, human rights so, or our rules, or you know it, it, that we decided someone... that we want to live by and uh, by the law, then then there's a problem. And I, and I think people just uh, with uh, uh, a secular society, yeah, uh, um, a secular society would uh, pr- protect everyone's right to worship whatever god they wanted. Yeah, yeah. And it's the only site that would. Yeah. Really. The ancient Rome used to do that. That was, a, And there's a great book that just came out of, uh, by Catherine Nixie on, it, it's, a, it's terrifying, on, on how Christianity destroyed the classical world in a way that made ISIS look uh, tame. Because the Roman and Greek, they, they did, they, one more God, great, bring it on. It was, you know, no problem. And they effectively in a hundred years removed. I think, I don't want to be true, but I think Christians were called, Atheists, yeah, yeah, because they didn't yeah, believe yeah, in I all the gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you talked about that. I think they may have. Yeah, yeah, but they, but they very effectively changed things so that it was now no longer all other gods wrong, and they very effectively and viciously removed every remnant of the classical world of statues and people, and it was really, uh, 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 and so you know that notion that you know, hey, it's okay. You're right. A, a good society say, okay, you know, you bring it on. I just think that it's a slippery slope, and. Uh, you know, it, you're always one step away from book burning. Yeah, yeah, it's always you, one step away. Yeah, and and but but to get back to you saying people think you go into churches and do that the, in the tweets, and I think this was the point I was trying to get at when I did my little. I was trying to remember why I gave that talk. Uh, gave that. They have discussion. to be following me to. Y- yeah, they have to exactly, be following yeah. you. And the tweets that are most that are most. Um, how can I say? Not offensive, but most 
direct are when you're responding to someone of who's made a point of trying to bait you or something. Well, I talk about this on Humanity that, um, you know, people have to be, they can be following me without me knowing. Yeah. And then get offended by one of my tweets. Yeah. That's like going into a town square and seeing a notice guitar lessons and you going but i don't fucking want guitar lessons <laughs> yeah, that's the, I, I remember that was, yeah. i remember hearing you say that and that's so brilliant it's yeah. true and yeah. people say why do you keep forcing your atheism on people i go yeah. no, no no you have to be following me to hear about my <laughs> i'm not running into churches yeah. i'm not in schools yeah i'm not on you know it, if it's you don't like, like me just don't you, follow you, me don't listen to me you've basically come in my house yeah and ask me if I'm an atheist or not. Yeah. I've said yes. And you've gone, why are you forcing it on me? <laughs> yeah. Leave. Yeah. Just leave. Yeah. It's leave. <laughs> it's a, I suddenly thought of this connection. Honesty, it just occurred to me that I see a thread in here. I, I love that film. What was it called? Something about lying. They mentioned yeah, lying. lying yeah. yeah. And it's interesting there that here was someone, I, went, I, I suddenly resonated with me. And you talk about comedy being... Um, being able to say things that are uh, that are um, outrageous, but go against social mores, and 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 being able to lie with you know, it, it's like magic. Being able to lie by telling the truth, um, and I, yeah. when, w did that come into writing that to, to that movie at all? And in, in that notion, well, of I do think that I mean the big move there that everyone picks on in in the Adventures of Lion is obviously when I invent. Religion. Yeah. When I tell yeah, my yeah, mother yeah. that there is a lovely place where she go to, because yeah. I feel because she's scared about yeah, death, yeah, yeah. and I'm pretty sure that's how spirituality started. Sure, yeah, yeah. and then it got carved up and became organized and a business yeah. and, a, and and all those things that yeah. we, we know it's wrong with religion. Yeah. That's not wrong with spirituality. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, but it was it was more again it was quite an academic upshot, and I think comedy is an intellectual pursuit, not a not an emotional one. And I, th I think w once you start, you know, st worrying about what the audience think or trying mm. to get them on your side with a part of your political beliefs or whatever, yeah. you're not doing comedy anymore. You're losing something comedically. You're rallying. Yeah. If you're looking for agreement, you're, you're not doing anything. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I think sensible people can laugh at things they don't agree with because they get the joke. Yeah. And, and, uh, and I think that's that's true in any in any art form. You, it, it, yeah, you you it, should be trying to. I mean, yeah, if you're trying to get people to uh, to follow you, once we were performing at the at the Sydney Opera House, and people there was a question here that said people said how can you, how can you get people to follow you? And and I was there with Richard again, and we said uh, we're not trying to get we're just trying to get people to think. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think if you, it must be the same. It's the same in comedy, a anything you do. I mean, music, which you were involved in, you're trying to get people to to. Yeah, reflect. You're not trying but to I'm, get them like. I'm also, uh, you know, I'm not a politician. I, yeah. I'm, I, I'm not a leader. I'm, I, I'm not uh, uh, these people's parents. I'm not trying them to, you know, uh, to change their ideas. I'm just doing it. I'm doing it because it's fun. Because I believe yeah. it, uh, and uh, and it's my job. It makes me money. Mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah, the the the, 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 the only thing I do for free probably is to get people to change their mind over is like is something like animal cruelty. Yeah. Um and um. But no, most of the time, I'm having a laugh or well, I'm the, or, or exercising my right to say what I think. Well, that's, you know, I tell people that's why I do science. That's why most people I know who do science is not, look, I mean, some people are trying to save the world and that's great. But I think I do science because I like it. And if that's you didn't it like is. it, you couldn't do it well. I mean, it's just fun for me. And, it's and it may sound very, you know, selfish, but it's just... No, you know no, that's why you do what you do. I think there's no difference to people who are um, uh, trying to find out a, a, a mathematical equation yeah. to someone who cures all cancers. Um, yeah. th they were doing it because they could and they were interested you, and they want to yeah. find the answer. Yeah. Like you, you do a crossword to complete the puzzle. Yeah, right. Yeah. And obviously, with science, you can never complete the puzzle yeah, because but, but there's always another answer. But the journey is the fun part. The, the journey with the puzzle is fun. It's, it's academic. It's yeah. fun. It's exciting. It's a yeah, well, it's, it's what it's one of the reasons for living. Yeah, it, it's amazing to find stuff out. It's this aha. It's orgasmic. This aha experience is incredible. Anytime you 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 discover something, hey, you know, it just feels good. It feels good, and, and it, it feels good in everything. It feels good when you hit the ball in tennis for the first time. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's, that's it. I'll yeah. never forget that. Yeah, you know, yeah. riding a bike. I'm riding a bike. You yeah. know, it's it's like it's amazing to to get good at stuff and find stuff out or to try and get good at stuff. And it, and it never ends, you know. It, 
uh, particularly frustrating, back to evolution again, yeah. when people say, um, where's the missing link? I go, when yeah. I find the missing link, you'll have two missing links. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I find those two, you'll have four missing links. Jeez, yeah, it's great. It's you should just, have been a teacher. Well, you it's are a teacher. like, yeah. fuck, you know, yeah. I can't win. You yeah. can't win. Yeah, well, you know? it's... it's it's uh... And the science has been wrong. No, science has never been wrong. Scientists have been wrong. Right. Yeah, so, and that's right? the big difference. Scientists are and just the, people. And, and it's, it's a, that's like a diss to science. That yeah. it corrects itself. Yeah. No, no, that's that's why dogma's bad. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, mean, that, so I, that's, I, I, yeah. I tell people that, you know, again, really, the revolution, that it, that's the way you become famous, son, you by proving your colleagues wrong. It's not, yeah. you go in every day, and in some sense, you want to prove your colleagues wrong. Yeah. And, or yourself. And, or yourself. That's yourself. Good. In fact, that's, Feynman said that. That's the, that's probably the best thing that's the reason I like, I, I sort of, want kids to, to be exposed to science is so in science you try and prove yourself right but you try equally hard to prove yourself wrong yeah. and that's so useful in the rest of life is to say well you know i believe that but but is it because i like the idea or is it right but it's madness yeah you don't you don't do it in any other form of life yeah if you keep getting something wrong and it's harmful you don't keep doing it thinking no it's the right way to yeah every yeah. time i jump out of a window i break my bones but <laughs> it is the right thing to do yeah yeah it well, is definitely the right thing to do yeah i think that's you know, exactly yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a definition well, of madness you're an idiot then yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah going against what you've actually proven to yourself you to be right. yeah no it's no. fine it's a good yeah. it's a good system <laughs> Yeah, but that's by the way. I think the only way that you that you you learn too is by ultimately um, proving yourself wrong. Of course, and and so that's when, what progress is. Yeah, yeah, and so it's so one of the things you, you you know that wonder of discovery. It occurred to me one day. Actually, I was at a Q and A after I appeared in some movie, which a great film, a documentary made by an Irish woman called The Farthest about the Voyager. And and I was talking about science teaching. It occurred to me, and it may, it, it may, it, it's maybe not profound, but it, for me it was a revelation when I realized that the first, whenever a child learns something new, for them, it's the first time in the history of the world that that's been understood. I know. And so what we should teach kids by discovery, thing we should be questioning instead of rote, this is what we know. It's a voyage of discovery together. Hey, it's I don't understand this. Parents should say, "I don't understand this more." And we, let's figure it out. It's it, incredible. It, even if I, if even if I discover something that I think's new, and someone says, yeah. "No, no, someone did that," yeah. I go, "I still feel as proud." Oh yeah. I go, "Well, I didn't know that." Yeah. So I'm as good as him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's yeah, this yeah, effort yeah. always to show you as good yeah. as. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Newton. Yeah, Look, yeah. The apple fell on me as well, mate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We, we've all done that I one. I could have done that. We've all, been there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 So no big deal. You had 400-year yeah. jump on yeah. me, but I could have been. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of fun, and 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 I mentioned music and comedy. You said you started music, right? I mean, you wanted to, you, you joined a band. You, you, yeah. got, you got signed. Yeah. Music and comedy. How do you compare the two? Um... Uh, Music is the greatest art form in the world. It is, it's like, it's like hearing an emotion. It's incredible. There's nothing it's, like it. It is, and you know, but for me, it's so frustrating. I love music. Yeah. But it's the only thing I've ever tried to do. And I've, you know, that I, that I don't do. I've, I've learned, I know how to play a whole bunch of instruments badly. Every time I took lessons, I got to a point where the guy said, you know, I think you've got as far as you go. Yeah. And it really frustrates me. You talk about learning playing chess. It's 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 really cuz it's so wonderful, but it's yeah. frustrating to me that I can't do it. But it's it's nothing like anything else that yeah. we're excited about. Yeah. It's yeah. not it's not about maths yeah. and it's just how how do you feel? Yeah. It's incredible, you know, uh, and more and more I uh I get into instrumental music because again, it's it's purer, you know. Do you, um, do you still play? Do you play music regularly? Or uh, uh, my own? Yeah. Oh God, no, no, no. I, the, the, my last outing was was luckily I was I was hiding behind irony with David Brent. Yeah. Okay. Which yeah. Is, yeah. Which yeah. is great yeah. fun, but yeah. not the real thing. No, no, not it? performing. I just met at home. Do you? Do, yeah, but yeah. just a twiddle. That, yeah. Uh, that's uh, um, that's good. That keeps the brain working. Yeah. Sure. And you can think about other things as well. Uh, that that's great. Um, uh, it's very good for you to play. Um. Uh, they did an experiment again. They, yeah, they, they those no, famous no, people. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Can't give any credit yeah, to yeah, anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently, with things that uh, they uh, gave people different tasks, yes, yeah. and playing an instrument lit up most, most of the brain. Of the brain. Most of the brain. So this, that, they must. So I must have something missing there because no, I maybe. I, yeah, um, it, yeah, I haven't got a chest brain. Do you? Do but do you? Well, actually, though. 
do you, when you're performing, do you feel like you're, I mean, like you're playing music? I mean, is all, your whole brain lit up uh, in the same way? I guess so. But then um, uh, I, I think uh, this is very in and mm-hmm. it's just my theory. It's probably mm-hmm. not true again. Um, that there's a difference between when I'm, when I'm making a, uh, like afterlife, yeah. where I'm trying to create a world and there's there's words and pictures and a yeah. story to get people in. And, and I think that's the most fundamental yeah. thing we have, a storytelling. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can have all the uh, avatars and CGIs yeah. in the world, yeah. but it would come down to one person telling another person story. what happened to them. Mm-hmm. And that, that's that's the most human it gets, okay? Yeah, that's it's never, the that's campfire. That's where, yeah. where empathy starts, where caring starts, mm. where intrigue, yeah. that is it, right? Yeah. Um, so... I do that and I make it and I put music on it. Oh, and, and you know, you manipulate emotions and yeah. you take them on a journey oh, and you surprise yeah. them and all that. Right? And then you do your best guess and it's what you wanted. I get final edit and if it works out like I wanted it, I, I can't fail. Yeah. And I put it out there and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, they sure. tell me if they liked it or they didn't. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Stand up's different. Stand up is slightly more like a science because it either works or it doesn't. So I go out there every night yeah, and, you, and I hear the laugh. And you, so I keep that bit. I don't hear the laugh, lose that bit or change it. So eventually I've created this perfect beast. It's natural selection. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's the, audience exact- of ch- the audience is the world Yeah, and they've chosen the bits that it, work it, for work. them. Yeah. And audience is the same everywhere. Interesting, really? Yeah, yeah the biggest... Um, it, whether it's a Friday or a Monday, whether it's a hall or a theatre, mm-hmm. makes more difference to where that thousand, ten thousand mm-hmm. people are. Yeah. Because when you get that many people, that's a sample. Yeah, yeah. So if they can understand what you're saying, yeah, right, yeah, they're the same. I could, I could do, I could play Chicago one night and and Liverpool the next, uh-huh. and I could do a readout of the laughs and the gasps, and it'd same, be exactly, exactly the same. same. That's fascinating. Yeah. That is interesting. Yeah. And I, I've, it, well, you know, I. When I lecture, I mean, humor is an essential part of, for me, it keeps me going. So when I'm lecturing or writing, humor is a yeah, big part no, of it. I saw it. And what I was going to say is I notice, I don't know if people are understanding me when I'm in Russia, say, uh, uh, giving a lecture. But the way I figure find out is by making a joke. Yeah. And then and then you know, because it, yeah. of course then there's like a three second yeah. delay. Because they then, all and have then, to laugh at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah. can be nodding and pretending to get yeah. you. Yeah. I agree. It's like... It's the, the that's when you tell. It's like if you're not listening to a teacher yeah. and they say, "So what do you think?" and you have to go, "Yeah, I wasn't listening." Yeah, yeah. Wait, if I make a joke, and you, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And so that's uh, why I know that's what my caliber. I don't, I don't do it with um, translations. I, 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 pl- I play places where they speak English, sh- okay, better than me, yeah. <laughs> which is most you know, places. No, yeah, I'm no, yeah exactly. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's a. It's a uh, a very uh, widely spoken language. Yeah, yeah, no, it's um, amazing, and it, it is. And also, they know it's going to be English. So they don't come along unless they yeah. get it all in there. And and you yeah, know, the world's smaller now. It's amazing. It's, I mean, you know, we're so. fortunate in a way speaking English because yeah, when I go around and I'm amazed because when I when I do these events, uh, uh, how many people aren't wearing their translators because they'd rather yeah. hear the English than hear the translator yeah. speak it. But you've got to, you've got to talk about universal subject. Yeah. You can't talk about what the, you know what was on telly last night in your country that they won't get. So it's you know But you just said it in a way you've just said though humor is universal. That's of course fascinating it is, yeah. to me. As long outside cultural reference you know, and, and that's outside, why I make yeah. sure that it's you know if you understand the language you will get the the joke. Everyone um, everyone laughs and film and falls down no matter where. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like Wittgenstein's lion, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're pretty much the same. Yeah, we're the see, same I knew philosophy would come in here at, at yeah. one point. Um, I can't help but think, I mean, you know, the, that that they're, you're doing philosophy has had a huge impact and ultimately on, on what you do in comedy. Maybe, or, or, or maybe I was, I, I, I don't know. Saying, I, I mean, not doing philosophy, but, but your natural inclination to ask critically, to think about that's deep what issues. I'm good that's, at. that's why I wanted to flip this okay. interview. Okay, good. I don't like being... I don't like being the one uh, um, well, I think bestowing on to being okay, all professorial because yeah, I Yeah, but you're I so feel, wise and I'm I just feel, a, I'm a student no, learning from No, I feel like wisdom. a charlatan. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a... So I'm going to ask you questions. Okay. I'm, I'm a much better pupil because okay. I'm still I'm still wide-eyed about the world. Well, I've never lost it. That's I why want, I want to talk to you so I want much. I want to make people to make me laugh. I want them to tell me one thing that I... We, we I feel the away. same. Okay, right, good. Okay. okay. I mean, um, that's it for me too. Where were we? So, okay. So, yeah. Um... That thing about the uh, Adams, uh, yeah. So, how far, how how far back, close to the to the beginning, are we now with what we know, what happened? 
what we know what happened. I, I take no to be that there's some experimental, for me, it's if there's no experiment. I only mean that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, yeah. and so um, back, we know, we definitely know what happened back to about a millionth of a millionth of a second after the Big Bang. A millionth of a millionth of okay, a second. Okay, so, no, no, okay. So all that's here, uh-huh. all that's everything, all uh-huh. that's matter, right? Okay, uh-huh. I know that's a dodgy one. No, 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 right, it's all right. Okay. No, 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 I'm not... Was crammed into a region the size, you know, I actually smaller than a. You plugged humanity. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna send. Can I send you my book, Adam? Because sure. I wrote a book about the history of an atom from the beginning of the universe to the end. Okay. Because I wanted to ask that question. So when does it sort of all begin? But it's amazing. At that time, we, we, when I first started talking, which is a time when we, the laws of physics we least understand, can be extrapolated back to a time when the entire universe, yeah, all. 100 billion galaxies, each containing 100 billion stars, all that matter was crammed into a region the size of a single atom. Is that, I mean, so that's, that's because so weird. Most, most things are nothing, aren't they? So, Mo- so an atom is mostly nothing. A yeah. fly in the Albert yeah. Hall going well, around a tennis ball. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, matter mostly it's 10,000. The, the or electron orbits the nucleus of, on a size about 10, 10 to 100,000 times bigger than the atom. But right. it's even smaller than that. Yeah. It's, so it's, does it work though? Does that, if, if that's a, uh, not just a metaphor. This yeah. is what annoys me. When I, 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 sooner or later, I don't want the metaphor. I want to yeah, do the, the truth. Real thing, so, yeah. But to start with a metaphor, does does that does the science work if every atom was the Albert Hall with a mm. uh, with a golf ball and a mm-hmm. fly going around? Mm-hmm. Could every could every golf ball and fly in the universe fit into one Albert Hall? Oh yes, but the problem is it stops being an atom. Because the atom is so. That, that, can you squish that even you, more? You, oh yeah, you you, you so are. At that point, the atoms don't exist because they couldn't. They, 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 so if we get down to what matter is, what is the is there? A, it, I, is, I like feeling stupid. I no, like no, it. Right. Asking questions I, is never so, stupid. Okay, so so I, I like so so is there anything that is pure? Is there something as pure matter that can't be squished anymore? That was what that we don't know. We, we know that we know that Fuck you. Fu- yeah, yeah. No, no, but that's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> you and no, your science. Yeah, yeah exactly. What how, a fraud. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We don't know. How we can all say that. Yeah, exactly. You right. See? Yeah. Okay, so so well, that's a, okay. that's oh, the best God. not knowing oh, is a- God. Right, okay. So Right. Oh no. Oh no, there's the other thing, right? Okay. Right. Okay. So okay, we've done that. Yeah, we've okay, done, we've done that. that. Okay. No, right, right. So um there was no there was no time before time. There That's a no, good question. Well, we so don't know. No, there was a <laughs> said, wait. No, so but, there was a place. Well, there, no, no I, in my, I, I. This is what get. This is what. This is what kills me. Okay, so let's get that right. Yeah. All the everything that exists, mm-hmm. matter, antimatter, everything, yeah. space, time, mm-hmm. nothingness, all didn't. It, it didn't have to exist. That's the great thing. It it can spontaneously pop into existence. Space, time matter and you don't need any supernatural shenanigans that's why i wrote this book called the universe of nothing it's amazing to me that science has come to the point saying well we don't know but it's plausible that you can start with with no space no time right and poop the okay, laws of so, quantum mechanics so, space and time so if pop we, into existence. okay so if we take let, let, let's get to what's physical and yeah, okay, real so okay. everything that exists now was in the thing aside small and, right? and a lot I, more than what exists but anyway. yeah okay I, what yeah, yeah, no, it's really weird. We've lost that, some bits. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've lost a lot. Oh, and, fuck me. Where's yeah, that yeah. then? <laughs> Where's that? Nowhere. It just disappeared. Yeah, it's nowhere. Where is exactly. It? it just dissipated. Yeah, it's, it's right. No, I mean, the this, inter- this, let this, me point this, out. This is the- what annoys me about um, um, quantum physics. Yeah. It overturns all the things I held sacred in science. Yeah, exactly. Which it's is counterintuitive. What's wonder- which and is it's what's like, wonderful. That's what you should love go- it. You should love it because nothing's sacred. But I mean, I mean, from like Newton's laws to yeah. relativity, which I had down. Well, well, no, well, you, well, no, but they're not wrong. The great thing about right. science is, no, they work. They're just they contingent, just, as well, opposed to what uh, every. But everything's contingent. But they're uh, just out of interest. This, okay, right, okay, the uncertainty <laughs> principle. Okay, good. Okay, fuck me. Is right, that where do I start? I, do, I, I know so little that I don't know what question to ask. That's how fucking. Frustrating this is for well, me. It, I haven't got the language to so, ask you the right questions. Questions. So yeah, so we can work together through the right okay, questions. Right. And the questions are the most important right. thing. The right. important thing. Is this metaphorical or literal? Okay. When you fire two electrons, so, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Are they in two places at once? If you don't measure them, yes. Okay. Okay. Again, it's yeah. weird. If you observe it, do it now. Now, 
is but because, again, is but that a metaphor? A, no, no. Well, it's, what is a metaphor is you're thinking of an electron as a little billiard ball. So yeah. the point is, the problem is that the, it's not really it's a little a billiard energy, ball. And it? that's why, you know, there's this fact, there's this weird thing called quantum entanglement or it, where where if I if I do something to this electron, if, if I prepare elect, two electrons in an in a initial state, w very special state, and I take one here and I move another one to Alpha Centauri, then, and I do something to this one, instantaneously, not at the speed of light, but instantaneously, I change the properties the, the properties of that one, or at least I change what, what someone would measure of the properties of that one. And you say, hold on, that violates everything I know of. But the problem is, the mistake is that you think of it as two separate objects. In the quantum world, they were never separate once they were entangled. They're all, they're, they're like, you know, it's like so there's slapping no you on this side of the face and right. your arm hurts over here. You know? Yeah, so yeah. it's going out of one door that's coming yeah, yeah, in the yeah, other yeah. one of a... That's one way of thinking about it. It's always a metaphor because there's no way, right. there's no sensible way to picture it because we're, we grew up with these classical pictures. So there's no, and that's, I was just saying, it's interesting, right. we're having this, I was having this discussion with a scientist, I think maybe even on, on the podcast, but that... that the problem is that people talk about the interpretation of quantum mechanics. That's entirely the wrong thing because the world is quantum mechanical. Yeah. We live with this yeah. approximation. I get that. So, yeah, and yeah so, it's, like, it's like determinism. Yeah. You can have it. It doesn't change anything yeah. because we have the illusion of free will and we've yeah. got to worry about yeah. murderers and living and dying and it. cancer. Yeah. yeah, I get and that. So we have this illusion. So yeah. why should we try yeah. and explain the real world okay. in terms of the solution? We should try and explain the illusion in terms of the real world. Right. Okay, that really helps. Oh, that's amazing. My work here I can is done. do that. <laughs> okay, I can do that. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. I just never think about it again. Okay, and exactly. I sleep at night. There we go. What's great about this podcast is yeah. that people who tuned in for you yeah. can fast forward to this bit, <laughs> yeah. and people who tuned to me can can yeah. stop uh, before uh, we yeah. got onto this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, that's right. What? Yeah. What? The jokes? Yeah, yeah. So, so, but you so, don't understand. For me, it's even better. It's even better because they'll say. Why the fuck is Ricky Gervais yeah, no. thinking this is interesting? Yeah. If he thinks it's interesting, maybe I should think it's interesting. I don't care about Lawrence Krauss, but I like Ricky Gervais. So maybe if he thinks it's interesting, there's a reason to be interested in Trust it. Trust me, it, it's, that's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> they're going to say, who does he think he is? He's okay. making a fool of himself. No, right? no. Uh, okay. uh, by asking questions? Okay. That's the bravest thing anyone could okay, do. I, uh, okay. No, 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 it's great. It's, so, and and I will, so, I will have this conversation So this isn't a metaphor. Too. There was mm -hmm. there was nothing, mm -hmm. literally nothing, mm -hmm. right? Well, we've where changed was we, it, though? We, we, if there was no time and there was no space and there was nothing, where was it? Nowhere. <laughs> and where's that? Um, well, that's the point. It's not so good was, language. So, so this, is what, good this is what blew my mind yeah. okay. right? about all the, uh, the all the things that yeah. are in the universe yeah. and yeah. more. Yeah. That, uh, that's a new one. Yeah. Fuck me. I've got that to worry about now. Well, yeah, now uh, there's many more universes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's another yeah. thing to worry about. So, um, and, and is that the nature of infinity or is that literal? That it's probable? It's probable that there may, that spa it's quite likely that they're, well, it's quite likely, and that's all we can ever say. It's quite likely or not likely. We can't right. say it, no, it is that. or isn't. Yeah. That, that there could be an infinite number of universes or our universe could survive an infinitely long time. But why don't you say, if that's the case, uh -huh. why don't you say that this universe that's 13 and a half million years old yeah. is the second or third or the hundredth or the millionth? Well, or the well, f first of all, we don't know. And secondly, if there's an infinite number, then how do you order them? Oh yeah, because time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but a, but but it, but what's weird is is a man-made structure, yeah, dudes. Just forget it. But what's yeah. real? What bothers people, and it bothers a lot of scientists, is oh, that okay, our universe had a beginning. We yeah. don't. We do know yeah. that only because we uh, only because we're going backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's on our time frame. That's yeah. on our concept. I know, of time. but what's really weird, but it, but people don't like the fact that our universe had a beginning, but it may go on for an infinitely long time. And so, why did it have a beginning when it had a beginning? And the answer is, you know, it just happened. But there, it but the, did. The, I get well, that. I'm well, happy with the, that as well. But it actually, it makes it easier for me. It may not be true, but but this how is, can there be another one? Well, if that's the, the if point. the universe takes up all the space well, there is. I know it's expanding into nothing. No, 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 it's not expanding into anything. It's no. If I blow up a balloon, yeah, and I put dots on it, yeah, and it, sure, it, if I put it in an extra dimension, it's it's expanding into the room. But if I just consider the two dimensional surface of the balloon, it's just getting bigger. It's not expanding into anything. Okay, yeah. And so if you imagine our universe is like the two-dimensional surface of the balloon, or just better still, take a rubber bed sheet and make it infinitely big. You know, you're infinitely rich, you have an infinitely big bed, and stretch it. It's not expanding into anything. Yeah, you're playing anything. with language there. 
Of course I am, but that's the only thing I play with you three because we don't know doing mathematics. But, but this makes but, me think that the, the the term infinite is meaningless now. Well, no, it's it 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 is very it is meaningless in a sense. Here, he's going to get frustrated can, for me. No, no, no. You, I, <laughs> I'm going to say I'm going to give you an example. I, I've never right. thought I'd do in the, this program, but it's okay. it, it, this guy Hilbert uh, was a very famous mathematician. He he invented this paradox, showing that infinity is kind of meaningless when you think of the language. It's he call, it, we call it Hilbert's hotel. You're gonna. This is gonna blow your mind. Okay, so you go. Let's say you're going in Las Vegas to an infinitely big hotel. Okay, and you go in and um and you said like a room and they say well all the rooms are full and he goes oh okay you go I'll, I'll go somewhere and say no 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 this is an infinitely big hotel we can fit you in how well I'll take a person from room number one put them in room number two person from room number two put them in room number three three and four and I do that and now room number one how long empty. will this take because I've got a, I've got an <laughs> yeah, appointment yeah, yeah, yeah that's uh, a, yeah, <laughs> that's a problem <laughs> like, yeah, exactly well you have to get them all do it at the same time but right. no but even that's hard so okay I just sleep in the lobby yeah yeah, yeah Cheers. So, no, but hold on. I'm going to make it even worse. Right. Say you go in with a Catholic family, an infinitely big family. Yeah. And you say, I've got a, I've got a room for my infinitely big family. And they go, oh, they're awful. No, no, we can fit you in. How? I take a person from number one, put them in room number two. From number two to room number four. Room number three to room number six. Room number four to room number eight. Now only the even numbers are occupied and all the odd numbers are free. So you can fit in your family. Infinity right. has... That, was the, that used to be my... I didn't hear that, but that used to be my favorite fact. <laughs> to blow people's minds, that there are as many even numbers, numbers as even and odd numbers put together. Yeah, yeah exactly, because infinity is a very yeah. subtle concept, and mathematicians have a way of dealing with that, but if you don't deal with it carefully, you well, arrive at nonsense. infinity is a concept, though. It's, it's infinity a... is only a concept. Uh, well, pro uh, interesting, interesting question. Physicists don't like infinities. Well, because no, because there's, so... no, there's nothing physical. Well, but what if space is infinitely big? Well, what if... What if? I thought we were going to solve it. <laughs> we're, going to, we're trying to, but we have to admit that possibility. But affinity has to be a concept. Well, all things are concepts. There's not more. There's no more concepty concept than mm. infinity. Well, but but well, no. Yes, there's no there example are. of it because you have to because you can't you can't you can't tell me a number that's even getting close. You no, can, but I can tell. But I, can I know be, I know it in concept. Well, but I can. I'll just add one. <laughs> no, but but the number one is a concept. But but it's a concept you can say. Well, I see one of yeah, these. Yeah, but, it but is that's just a manifestation. A yeah, we can we can. But mathematicians we can have show figured out ways. This. No, but mathematicians have figured out ways to work with infinity as an as a number or different kinds of infinities in ways that gives sensible results. So so as a numerical concept, it's as it says no. It's some sense. Yeah. It's as well defined as a million or a billion or a billion billion. It's just weirder, a lot weirder. So basically, you're laying out the possibilities. Yeah. To work backwards. So so you've got all the possibilities laid out. Yeah. And, and by the, one of them's true. And one well, one of them's true for us. Yeah. And that's what's us, really yeah. I mean, and this and physicists have been talking about this recently. If there are an infinite number of universes, which we think is quite likely. Yeah. Then that blows my mind. No, an infinite uh, amount of you, 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 again. Oh. No, but then it's even worse. Okay. Or even, or even if our universe persists for an infinite long time. But let's take an infinite number okay. of universes. There's a universe in which in which we're having this conversation. But you're telling me the physics, and I'm telling you the jokes. Sure. And moreover, but there's an infinite number of universes when this conversation is exactly the same except for one word. Yeah. Or there's an infinite universe which is exactly the same. I get that. It's, as but long it's so as, weird. Yeah, but it's, it, but it's only a concept. Just like it, But it's, what if it's it, true? But what if it doesn't mean anything? Well, it doesn't mean anything because we'll never because, know about it. Because, because we live that, in one universe. Because when we know that the, the nature and the possibility of space and time uh -huh. and infinity, uh -huh. those words don't mean anything anymore in a normal sentence because we're, because you're using them in the way that I know them and accept them in this world, yeah. but they're not true anymore. Well, that's, you hit on the key point, and this is why people get so upset when I wrote A Universe from Nothing, especially religious people, because I point out that science has shown that not, nothing isn't what people once thought it was. It, it's we, it, the word it means something very different. We change the meaning of nothing, just yeah. like we change the meaning of something. And they say, but you're not allowed to change the meaning. Just like and, we changed the nature of time when we found out that the speed of light was a constant and distance yeah. has to. But yeah, I say, okay. and some reason they, they could say, hold on, you're not allowed to change what we mean by nothing. And I say, I call that learning. Okay, it, 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 I mean, and I so, don't because it's not helped me. Right. <laughs> so no, no, but right. but but here the point is. That there, as I described in that book, there are many different kinds of nothing. There's a nothing of the Bible, which is sort of an infinite, empty void. There's space there, but there's nothing in it. But that's not nothing because we're, the space is there. So, so what if you get rid of the space? Right. So you have to be very careful. And physics has shown that this space what, can pop in and out of existence like uh, anything else. Well, this is what I can't get around because I can't get over 
I can't get over my definition of the concept that I can't imagine there being nothing around this atom to expand into. Well, we do, because I have to make it clear to anyone who's even less along the line than me, and I'm nowhere, right? Well, no, no, that I. But you don't mean a vacuum. No, no. You no. mean there isn't anything. There's not a vacuum even, don't no, you? No, no, no. Yeah. Well, a vacuum for some people, a vacuum is nothing. But I would argue that's definitely not nothing because there's a lot of stuff there. Of course. So you in actually fact, empty space even that a... even throw away. There's a lot of stuff in the vacuum. There's a lot of fucking stuff in here, and then yeah. we're in a well, vacuum. There's shitloads of stuff here. Well, right? no. Well, let me give you the big point. I mean, okay. we, we've learned that the universe, the dominant stuff in the universe, is nothing. Yeah. Because I get that. empty space, you get take a piece of space, get yeah. rid of everything in it. Yeah. It still weighs something. And we don't have the slightest understanding of why. It still weighs something. And How do you weigh it? What? Gravity. So that's right. what... It, so that's gravity, what, it, it all it, comes it, down to gravity. It all comes down to gravity. What is gravity? It's a force that... It, it, it's, it's, is it... Is it lit? I see again. I thought it was. I thought the apple fell on your head. No, yeah, no. I know. Well, I thought that gravity was a force created by matter. Uh, yeah, attraction, and, and that's what we used to think, and that's right. what Newton would say. And it's rubbish it's now, is it? Well, no, it's never rubbish. That's one of the big misunderstandings that's of science. So 2017. Yeah, exactly. But no, <laughs> but but unlike unlike Lol. culture. Yeah, exactly. But exactly. <laughs> oh, you still believe that, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that <laughs> gravity, <laughs> gravity is created by matter of attraction? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, okay, right. Like, okay, a big funny hill. Like Insta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me against nothing. Yeah. That. <laughs> no, but but unlike the, unlike culture, science doesn't what does things don't become passe. So that Newton is just as true now as he was then. From if you want to hit a baseball or launch a cannonball or take a rocket ship and make, go to go to the moon, Newton works. That's the point. Scientific revolutions don't do away with our world and all the and all the. Yeah, that's and a but, but whatever world. we learn about the universe yeah. at the weirdest scopes, it's never going to change things. I'm never going to have a ball. Whatever I learn about quantum physics, I'm never going to have a ball here and say, I let it go, it's going to fall up. It's always going to fall. No matter what we learn, okay. the, the law that says it's going to fall down is always going to be true. So so why don't I just uh, why don't I just call these concepts and these possibilities, right, that don't uh, uh, interfere uh -huh. with our contingent laws and uh -huh. get us in space? And go, uh -huh. Why don't I just call them God? You can, but it's a, but you, you know the reason you're doing it? It's because right. you don't want to think. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm using God, God for the is gaps. A God is for, exactly. God is just for many people. They, uh, uh, they're they terrifying concepts. if you're concept. playing with concepts, but why, why, can't, can't, why can't I just say God? Because, uh, because... And I just mean all the things you said. Yeah, you can say that, but then you can... But that basically says, well, then I give up trying to ever explain or understand because there's lots of things I don't but understand. I about do. <laughs> My head hurts. Okay. And I never I, thought of you as a religious person well, you've until made now. Me, well, you've okay. made me believe in My, God. my life is complete. Yeah, I, at the beginning of this much. program, you weren't religious thank and now you. you are. I think that's a good way to end it. Is yeah. I've, I've converted you. <laughs> Peace be with you. Okay, same to Cheers. you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh. That was fantastic. The Origins Podcast is produced by Lawrence Krauss, Nancy Dahl, Amelia Huggins, John and Don Edwards, and Rob Zepps. Directed and edited by Gus and Luke Holwerda. Audio by Thomas Amison. Web design by redmondmedialab.com. Animation by Tomahawk Visual Effects. And music by Rickolis. To see the full video of this podcast, as well as other bonus content, visit us at patreon.com slash originspodcast. <laughs>